Hi everybody, this is Johnny Vicky, and I wanted to show you how to merge some surfaces together today. Uh, what we have here is one of our jobs, and in this job we have three different surfaces. Uh, I'll give you a quick description. Uh, the red and green surface, this is just a surface style with different colors, so you can distinguish the three different surfaces. This is new. This is a new surface, um, the topo that was gathered by our survey department, um, as well as this topo in this area. So we had two chunks of services that were uh, that were updated. Now the uh, cyan and magenta surface over here that was um, topo from Yerkes. Uh, from another surveying company, and so that was just uh, general um, contour lines, and that the surface was generated from. So we know that you know this information here is accurate, which is the area we're working in, as well as this information down here, um, and this is uh, existing information that we're just merging everything into. So what we have now is three different surfaces and we're going to put it all into one giant existing surface. So let's go over to our surfaces and we'll create a new surface. We'll put it on the V tin layer. Okay, okay. We will call this EX EX overall. And we'll set the style to uh, just set it to no border only for now. We'll click OK. And actually, let's set it to um, twos, twos and tens existing. That way, we'll be able to see it right away. Click OK to that. OK, now we've got an EX overall created. Now, in order to get these three surfaces all merged together into one, this one surface, we're going to expand this so we can see it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Surfaces, and we're going to Edit Surface, and then we're going to Paste Surface. Now, it's asking us uh, for the surfaces, so I'm going to right-click to bring it up. It says select a surface. Now this is the surface that you are going to paste everything into. So this is the initial one you're going to select, which is the EX overall. Click OK. Then it says select surfaces to paste. Now one thing you want to watch about this is you it's it works as a particular order. Uh, I'm going to paste the Yerkes plan in first. Um, you just have to, when you make this new surface, make sure in the end that your new, the new overall surface that you've created looks like all of these three put together. So I'm going to pick the existing topo from Yerkes first. Click OK. I'm going to do it again. Surface. Edit surface. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's see. Ready to go. Edit surface, paste surface. Right click. I'm going to select the EX overall again. That is my first one. Select surface as the paste. And I'm going to pick the, um, the partial topo up here. That's the middle one. That's this area over here. Click that. And that's now merged into our overall. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to go up to Surface, Edit Surface, Paste Surface. And now we're going to add the south area, which is all the red and green. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select my existing overall. This is the one we're pasting it into. Click OK. Then we're going to pick the south one, which is selected. Click OK. And now that got pasted in. And now as we hover around the site, you can see that the surface is pasted um, fairly well together. There doesn't seem to be any 
strange changes or anything like that. So now we can set the old surfaces to non -dis no display. So we have like a little area in here where um, this was uh, the Yerkes one, and then this is our new one. So we got a little bump here. You could correct that if you wanted to. Um, I want to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to select my other surfaces and set them to no display so we can see what our overall one looks like. No display. Get this one to tier to the surface properties. No, dis no display. And just a topo from your keys. No display. So now what we have here is we have one surface that is merged together from all of the uh, existing surfaces that we've got from the survey. Uh, we'll just change that so you can see it a little bit better. Surface properties. I'm going to use one of my temporary styles that I've created just to look at the colors, difference in colors. Um, and now you can see that we've got one solid surface we can use for grading to, and uh, uh, one uh, just an overall surface of the entire site. And that's it.